if you see good questions, you can answer them. I mean, you can ask me. Because it takes a few minutes to kick in, you know. Um, if Well, no, shoot, I can't see it. Sorry, I know you were eating your muffin or something, huh? Zero people. You know what? I don't know if I have to turn the Wi-Fi off or on. It's it's on. I, I do. It's all right, all right. Okay, guys, any questions? Ask them. We're talking jaw lines. Who's that up for? Are those for Halloween? For what? Oh. Very sure. Why? What happened? Somebody, somebody sent me to something bad? For Don, for being here? Yeah? Sweater weather. It's a guy. What's up? Any questions? Nothing? So I'm screen recording it too because I want to see. Because then we can see the questions, you know? Okay, what do we got? Guys, ask you any questions you want. Um, and then I want you to try to share it. So if you want to set it up, um, I can read them uh, too. Oh, no? Nothing? Nobody's got any questions about the jawline? Uh, okay. Um, I haven't heard that, but it's the ulnar nerve that you're pinching against the olecranon anatomically. But, I mean, some people pass out with pain, you know, and it hurts. It's not that funny, really. Uh, okay, here we go. Um, I mean, it very, runners are very lean, typically, so they definitely could have more of a hollowed, you know, sculpted face. Um, it's not because of the running itself. It's just because of the likely calorie deficit. You know, you know, they, you burn a lot of energy, especially big time. You know, you're talking marathon runners or these super marathon people. Um, yeah. Uh, I do often. Yes. Depending. And we have a couple really long lasting fillers here. You want me to put it here? And then you can, because uh, that way you can try your thing. Um, uh, Chicago, best day. Got a really nice bright shiny day. Oh, look at Kim, look at Kim. You got a really nice sunny day in Chicago. Uh, let me try to flip this. I think I can still. Oh, yeah, there we go. Um, we often do do fillers along with the, the jawline surgery because, you know, the fillers. Oh, shit. Grab it. I need to. Be nice if we had something set up. Um, because oftentimes it'll be the whole bone that needs structure, you know. The, uh, the mandible is a big bone. So I see a lot of people with soft chins, for instance, but it's the whole bone that's a little weak. So, yeah, try to share it to Diane and see, you know. But don't open it until after. Uh, guys, if you can share it, you see that share button right there? Uh, it's really helpful. Um, uh, actually, I want to take a screen grab of this and have him print it. Okay, I'm, uh, I need to print that later. Uh, so if you guys could share it, it's super helpful. And if you share it, I will answer any question you have, but only if you share it. And I can tell who shared it. Sliding genioplasty, I will. Um, uh, when indicated, I'll tell you. The sliding genioplasty has its limitations. Um, it has its limitation on the uh, what area you're trying to project you, uh, and the amount of projection you can get. And in my mind, it can often be too subtle, but it's always an option, yes, as well as mandibular advancement. But again, aesthetically, you know, the sliding genioplasty can leave a little gap here. I do a lot of chin implants on top of sliding genioplasties, believe it or not. Mm. Guys, we got to get to a couple thousand likes. You see the like button? You just got to tap the screen like a hundred times. Ding, 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 ding. Just keep tapping it. Tap, 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 tap. Oh. Likes and shares. Can you do chin liposuction? Yes, of course. Almost every little, every lower facelift does get liposuction at that time because it, it, you kind of need to uh, raise that skin up. So, yes. 
Thank you for the gift and the likes, guys. It means a lot. Fair thought all of you. Um, and if you could share it. We only got four shares. I don't know why I'm answering all these questions. Any possibility of uh, uh, rejection of the chain implants? It's, chain implants are silicone. Silicone is inert. You don't react to the silicone. Now, you can get infected. And some people would call that a uh, rejection. But it's not because of the silicone itself. It's because there's a little infection. Or um, you can get what's called a biofilm. Uh, it happens, you know, one to four percent of the time. I do a lot of chin implants, you know, uh, roughly 300 a year. So I see it. It's always solvable. You know, it's a pain in the ass for you, pain in the ass for me. I don't charge you if it happens, but yeah, it's a pain. Um, I, I was able to get the we're we're losing people because uh, you guys aren't sharing it. You got like, 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 share. Ask me some questions. So, but I want to see after. So share it again and don't open it yet. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because I want to see what it does after. What are common procedures on women with PCOS? P yeah, you got to share it first, guys. You got to share it first, and then I'll answer. But PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome, causes an atypical fat distribution in the face. So I do a lot of PCOS patients, as well as Graves' disease patients. Um, and it's normally some sort of fat sculpted. It's the face BBL, more or less. Taking fat from one area, excuse me, putting it in another area. Is neck liposuction included with chin liposuction? So did you share it? Miranda, Miranda, did you share it? Don't lie to me. There's only six shares. I've answered more than six questions. You just got to hit the share button. It's right there. Just hit the share button. You can text it to any of your friends on TikTok. They don't even have to open it. How do I remove jowls without surgery? Did you share it, Jules? Is that Jules, the famous Jules? No. Teresa, do you share it? Guys, you guys share and likes. Ah, okay, ten share. So people are sharing it now. That's good. Miranda, okay, you shared it. What did you ask? Miranda asked neck level surgery. So for me, it is. I do what I call extended neck and jawline. So I do better than anybody, of course, but I do more than most people. I like put all the way back to the hairline. I just did a woman. She's very slender. So you got to take a lot of fat from, you know, or a little bit of fat from a lot of areas. So you see when I breathe in, you can see my SCM. I go back to the hairline all on the neck like that to get it to really suck in. So. Uh, yes, uh, it does include uh, the whole neck jawline down to the clavicle in, when I do it. Um, how do you remove jowls without surgery? So, you know, you, if you run them gone, you're typically going to need uh, uh, some sort of, you know, in intervention. Oftentimes it can be surgical, um, but it really depends on your cause of the jowls. Some people it's skin, laser can tighten that. Some people it's excess fat, cheap buckle fat. Chicago style, when I tighten that mucosa and muscle, can help with that maybe. Sometimes it's the structure of the jawline. So sometimes you got to add a little structure, It really, which you can do with filler, so non-surgically. It just really depends. you got to do the diagnoses first, really. If you ex replace an existing implant, how do I know what size to use? I'll tell you. That's I've had to do it to my own patients. Um, it, I hate when it happens, but that's really the, the the best thing about having having to replace. There's not many good things about having to replace the implant. You kind of if you know which one you got in, we can pick a different one with different metrics to match your cephalometrics better. And then you know every implant comes in uh, a extra small, small, medium, large. There's a lot of surgeons out there just using this one type of implant. I don't know what the heck they're doing. They just don't do enough of them. But there's about 150 different combinations if you if you do it right. Can people with ICP get a cheap um, You can, yes. We would get you cleared by your uh, hematologist. What's ICP? It's like a platelet uh, deficiency. Guys, yep, got to keep the shares coming if you want them answered. Shares and likes. I'm about to leave. We only got 50, 90. Yet. They ain't worth it. I'm a busy, I'm a busy man. So you shared it to... Share, share two impressions and Diane. Okay. I just want to see. So we have 13 shares. The three of them are Kim. <laughs> what other questions? So I often get what is uh, Chicago. Chicago is I'm tightening. If you open your mouth and you got a little line in there where your teeth bite together, it's called the line of perikeratosis or the linea elbow, the dentist call it. Um, and that's because your cheeks are full enough that your teeth are biting on them. So I wedge out, I tighten the mucosa and the muscle layer. Those are the most two internal layers next to the tongue. So that's Chicago. I, of course, sculpt the fat. Sometimes we do more, sometimes we do less. That's, that's the tailor-made portion of it. Someone said, it's my favorite doctor. Mm, thank you. My favorite patient.
What if my jaw muscles are so tense? Does that inhibit any procedure? Um, you know, we give you meds to chill them out enough. I don't think it'll be a problem. Keep the likes coming. The likes and the shares, guys. Good job. What are some non-invasive procedures, Erica, for the jawline? Um, again, you know, it, we have a lot of them, but it can really depend on what the cause is of not having the jawline you want. Um, Kybella, deoxycholic acid is one that bursts some of the fat cells. You can kind of do some little bit of fat sculpting with that. It takes like four to six treatments, kind of expensive, and you swell up every time. Fillers can be great to build structure. Um, neurotoxin in the right patient in the right spot can help. Uh, lasers to tighten the skin. I mean, there's a lot of non-surgical options. They're just subtle. And, and I do a lot of non-surgical options. Did you guys see my post? Go to my post that I did about non-surgical versus surgical. See, I mean, it's really funny, I thought. Um, I, one thing that I do really well is I do a lot of non-surgical procedures. So since I do a lot of non-surgical and surgical, I mean, I can kind of give you both options. I think the people that way over-promise the non-surgical stuff don't have the means to do surgery. And the people that say you have to do surgery, you can't do Kybella or you can't do Morpheus or, or Sculpture before your face if it's going to ruin it, that's BS. They're just fear-mongering because they want you to do the surgery because they don't do non-surgical. So that's, those are my thoughts on it. What's the best procedure for a gobbler neck? Gobbler neck is probably going to be a neck lift. If it's a true gobbler, neck? like a turkey, you know, gobble, gobble. I'm, th I'm assuming that's what, it is. that's what people call it. Are you sharing it? I'm dating my therapist. Can you give me some advice? I need a man's advice. He just bought me a car. I like that. I like that. Okay, let's get into that one. Let's talk more about that. He bought you a car. It sounds like you're doing everything right. I don't think you need any advice. It seems like you should be the one giving the advice. What do you think about skin release with a chin implant? Meg, did you share it? I don't think you did. Yeah. Karnashia. Karnashia, is it? I think you're doing it right, man. Keep it up. I think you should share with the with the crowd here. How you how you gonna buy you a car? You should give them the lens or someone. Yes, uh, consultation in Texas. You know, the large majority of my patients are flying in, so we start virtual, we break it down, we itemize everything up for you. I kinda plan on doing more than I typically need, but uh, um, and then when you get here, we do the fine tuning. I do your cephalometrics. When you get here, we mark out what we think it's going to take to get you what you want, kind of where there's an opportunity to change things. Someone said, I need to call your team for a consultation. Test with you. Melissa, what's the violation? I love, I love HIPAA lovers. I, I do a lot of violations, though. I mean, obviously, the patients, you know, I'm at the point now the patients get offended if I don't post them. Just mentions I was stressed about, and he surprised me. I'm a college student. Okay, well, keep it up. Yeah, I mean, you know, showing a little need, little vulnerability, maybe. That's good. Good. I like it. He seems like a nice person with a lot of money. Estimate Estimation for a face BBL. It really can range from like 8000 to 20000 I know it sounds a lot. It sounds kind of crazy. But, you know, some people I get away with a little tweak. Other people I need to do a lot more work. So it's, it's, the things I do really well are, um, uh, are – look at this. We got a whole dating site here. She's getting a brother from the other gal. Um, it, you know, it's, it's diagnosing what your problem is. And I say in quotations problem because it's not a real problem, but they're kind of opportunities to change things to make you look a little nicer. Okay, well, you, you know, you take the car. I think that's kind of getting into the serious level. Is your name on the title? It's important if your name is on the title. Yeah, make it look a little nicer, a little hotter. Ozempic face. This is important. Paige Mortz. Did you share it? I only have 18 shares. I'm answering more. But ozempic face. What is ozempic face? So there's different fat layers in, in, the, in the face. See, I'm getting separation of this fat layer here. Starting to make me look old. That's the one that's making me look like Frank Gallagher, I think. Um, sagging there. That's the superficial fat layer. You want that fat. And when you lose uh, weight really rapidly, I mean, people are losing hundreds of pounds in like six months, you lose some of that superficial fat. Now, it's different than the buckle fat because people, there's a misnomer. The buckle fat is deep fat pad next to the tongue that pushes the face, that face out. But it's the rapid weight loss leads to compartmentalization of the face. 
Thanks for the share. Um, ah, I'm glad you feel good. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. You know, unfortunately, I've diagnosed a handful of people with PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome. It's uh, it's a metabolic syndrome. Uh, I, and endocrine. Uh, I think it, I think they qualify it as a syndrome because they don't really know the exact cause. There's multiple etiologies to it. And it just causes the hormones to be get a little wacky in uh, women. And then uh, so it has something to do with the ovaries. They often do have cysts in their ovaries, therefore the name, but they don't have to polycystic ovarian syndrome and then it causes like this atypical fat distribution so they can be thin and have a really round face or they get they get what's called a buffalo hump in the back of that neck i didn't make up the name um gray the did you share it you did share it um a neck lift revision i always say wait at least a year hopefully more um it's gonna settle and, and the main reason for that is Hopefully it settles to the point where you need less work, and sometimes we can get away with doing a little non-surgical stuff to make it better. But it, short answer, a year. Well, yeah. What time is it? Twelve thirty. Oh, yeah. He's going to lunch or something. Okay. Can you, can you, everyone, you have share it, guys. Grace shared it. Ali shared it. Yeah, the, the, if it's just lipo sculpting alone of the jawline and neck, I think it's like 8,500. But uh, uh, PCOS can also affect some of the uh, uh, bone integrity. So, you know, it's not uncommon that I see we need to do a little more or we could do a little more depending on how sharp you want it. I'm looking for my little Everyone. book um, to show the, how the chin is really important. That little pink thing, you know, that pink thing. The best treatment for platysma bands is what's called a platysmoplasty. See those bands? You cut it there, you cut it there, and you suture them together. It's through the neck lift approach, so it can be kind of, uh, quote-unquote, uh, invasive. You can do it awake if it's truly just the bands, but uh, platysmoplasty is the answer. What is platysmoplasty? No, I mean, I was answering like they do on uh, Jeopardy. You're too young. Uh, insurance for upper bluffs and hooding that is severe guys and dolls if you share thank you um it, you, you can if you have they have to prove you know certain things i think a visual field defect i don't take any insurance they don't like me it's not because uh, i mean um uh, i have a good buddy paul phelps check him out he's in chicago i think he can hook you up Miranda, that's exactly the best case scenario. And this is when people get in trouble. When somebody goes to a surgeon and says, I want this, and he just does it or she just does it, but it's not what they needed. So the best thing is to say, I don't like this. I want this. And then we say, okay, this is how I would get you there. And I normally recommend go get a couple other consults, do it the same way, see what that person would recommend. But yeah, it's really about uh, uh, you saying what you want, what you got, and we telling you how to get there. Can you get you on Ozempic? Waffle House Music. Um, you can, uh, we do have a, a sister clinic just down the street. Um, uh, is it Cadella, right? Yeah. Cadella that uh, we can't get you on it. Yes. Um, what is Trey's appetite? That's Ozempic. Uh, Trey's appetite. Um, no, but you're probably losing superficial layers of fat. So somebody has, they're on one of the uh, GLP-1 inhibitors and it, it, they feel like their filler went away quicker, but you probably just lost your facial volume and now you need more filler. So being super cozy yeah, so, Chicago, man, <laughs> this is like the best time of year in Chicago. At my house, I just put in a wood burning stove. Wait till I sit by that. No, I'm still I'm still working on. Actually, I was just looking at which one I'm gonna get right now. <laughs> the initial fee for consults, I'm only about 105 hours. 105 hours, maybe 1.5 hours. <laughs> uh, the the initial consult is $150. I still recommend to start virtual. We'll give you a little breakdown of what we think you're gonna do, and then yes, you can come in in person. You don't pay any extra to come in in person after. Oh my goodness, ah, can't blame them. It's a mustache.
Okay, what else? Guys, you share it. You, you share it, and uh, I'll answer. And you got to get more likes. I got to get to 10,000 likes. It's going to be a lot of finger tapping for you guys. My friend, Paul Phelps, P-H-E-L-P-S, like the swimmer. What's your toxic choice? Um, you know, we have Botox now, Xeomin, Dysport, uh, Daxi, Myoblock. I am not too picky. I think I can kind of get the same thing done with all of them. Did I say Xeomin? Um, so I'm, I'm an equal opportunity guy. I, you know, we have them all. If you have one you like, I'll do that. Sometimes there's little deals, you know, through the company. So I kind of say do whatever one you get the best deal on. The best what? Um, filler. Filler, there, we got a bunch of fillers too. Um, uh, I like the Restylane line the best. You know, there's there's three major companies, four maybe you could say, and they all have their own filler. They just kind of differ by the viscosity. Um, here, I'll, I'll play with some filler. People like that. Let's see. Okay, so uh, here's some filler. Look at brand new filler. I'm gonna waste it for you guys. Um, I normally do two a day. Every now and then they'll do, they'll do three. Um, but I operate every day, and it just works better that way because so many people are flying in, I don't know what I'm going to do. So, okay, this is uh, HA filler, one of the nice, really cohesive fillers. Like, watch, I'll be able to flip this upside down. So that, cohesive means, like, how good it sticks together. And some of these are, like, rubber. Some of them are, like, uh, honey. Some are a little more watery or a little more firm. This is one of the firmer ones. I really like it for the jawline. I think it does spectacular. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I think, you know, bing, 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 bing. You can see. And, and, and you know, that's – how much is that? That's about – 30% of a filler. So, you know, if you do fillers right, I normally tell people, I can't make you look stupid with one syringe if I tried. When the people are looking goofy, they're doing way too much. I've had people come into my office and say they got 10 syringes of filler in one episode. And I'm like, dude, that should be malpractice. What is the average cost of a syringe? Uh, it's around 1000 for me. And neck lipo? Neck lipo, roughly 8500 to 10000 New Mexico. Okay, uh, well, reach out to her again. I'll make sure. She's pretty good. Rebecca, probably. Um, has it been longer than 24 hours? Shouldn't be. Sasia. Sasia. Okay, guys. Uh, more likes and shares, guys and gals. I know I get in trouble for saying guys. I'm from in the Midwest. Come on, you guys. Come on, you guys. Does Michigan have an accent? I don't think so. What else, guys? Check the filler out. Bing, bong, bing, 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 bing. No, I, I, I don't really do nose jobs anymore. I'm pretty much all jawline. I send them all to Stephen Diane, at Stephen Diane. Is it Stephen Diane, MD? It has been, but I can send her a message. Let me get Yeah, send her another dinger again, pinger again. We're really busy right now. This consults really pick up this time of year. Um, I think people are back in school and stuff or something, but... Yeah, send her another message. She'll get on you. The shares, guys, and the likes. Thank you, thank you. Bing, bing, bing. Got to get to 10,000 or I'm leaving. Does jawline filler migrate? Uh, jawline filler should not migrate if you do it properly. Um, of course, you know, I tell most people, listen, fillers can be done really, really well, and they can be done really poorly. So, um, you know. Yeah, I can remove them. I mean, depending where they're at and what we got to do, um, you know, the large majority of them are absorbable. So sometimes, hey, we made it to 10,000. Good job. So sometimes I try to uh, get them absorbed by themselves. It's kind of the most, the best way to do it in many, you know, scenarios. But. Do you think getting under the chin lipo and cheek lipo is good to do before or after you lose weight? Um, you know, it's a good question. The, the weight loss question, do I lose weight now? Do I wait? You know, I tell people to be going towards your goal. So, you know, be halfway there. Let's say you want to lose 50 pounds, lose 25 and then do it. Because, or, or not, it's not a must, but, you know, you want to make sure you're on the right, um, you know, tra trajectory. And a lot of people do the surgery. They feel a little better. They look a little better. They're like, dang. And they get a little more motivated. Then they lose more weight. So that's, that's, it's a nice thing. Does it snatch back when you lose weight after? Or does it like? No, I mean, it depends on your age, your skin type, you know.
Like if I did it, it wouldn't snap back because I have crappy skin. And um, I would say under under 35 probably has the best chance to suck in. The sculpture really provide results. It, it, did you share it? Hey, 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 hey. Um, uh, did you share it? Um, does sculpture work? Sculpture poly L lactic acid can work. Again, if done properly, it could take you know anywhere from four to six treatments, depending on what, you know who, what you're starting with. Uh, okay. I could talk about this for hours and it's, it's interesting. People say like, who says, you know, you know, was it the mailman? You know, I mean, you might not know that much about chins. Um, all of the bones are chronically, uh, uh, you know, remodeling is a better word. They get small. That's why when you're a hundred, you're a little shorter. If you put a chin implant and if somebody puts it up there by the teeth, it, it can cause a, that's a really thin portion of the bone. It can cause some issues with the teeth. Now, if I had two mandibles, one here, and I do have two mandibles, and one here, and let's say we followed these two mandibles over 20 years. This one has a chin implant, this one doesn't. In 20 years, this one's gonna be one millimeter smaller. This one will has a six millimeter chin implant, let's say, and it'll probably get 1.5 millimeters smaller. So it does speed it up a little bit, but this guy's still 4.5 millimeters bigger than this guy so you know it, and it really depends where you put it if you put it deep down in the symphysis the bone remodeling the there's chronic osteoclastic and osteoblastic activity it's 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 um one i think i would say that it's negligible two it's actually a good thing because if, if it didn't remodel around the implant when you were 90, you would see the implant there you know what i mean as the mandible got smaller so it kind of lets the implant you know age with the bone long answer Yeah, I mean, if it's true cheek lipo, you don't typically want to do cheek lipo because, that, like I explained earlier, that's the good fat. You, you, you know, I'll do that in people who have had bad fat transfer. I have a whole series of patients that one got fat transfer somewhere else, and they got these big old apple cheeks now. But you don't really want it. The superficial fat's the good fat. That's where we put fat. The buckle's deep. That's where we go through the mouth. So it, it's a complicated anatomical discussion. But um, oh, okay, yeah, good. So we'll talk about it in details when they get you set up. Okay, I mean, I hope I don't have to do all of them over for you, but we can. I do a lot of revisions at this point, which is unfortunate for for people. Under the chin to get definition. Yeah, of course. I mean, they, whoosh, you suck it in there, you see more jawline. Like, whoop, and then add the buckle on. That's what saddles the mandible. So that's why I do a lot of it for you. Yeah. I'm just going to get a console here. 10.39. Okay, cool. You know, there's good surgeons in Mexico, but just like America, there's also bad surgeons. So I'm sorry. Where is Chicago? Where is Chicago? It's in the USA, man. <laughs> where is Chicago? Oh. She said, where is? We are in Water Tower Place, uh, downtown by the lake. Wait till my own brand comes out. All right, guys, I got to go. Uh, thanks for chatting. I appreciate it. If you guys need a consult, DM us here on the gram. There's some forms and stuff. If you fill those out, it's helpful. But I know it's a pain. No. Okay. Goodbye.